everyone, how's it going? My name's Claire, I've just graduated from the University of Exeter studying maths and if I was about to start a maths degree knowing what I know now, this is what I'd do to prepare. Alright, so let's get into the video. I've been getting a lot of DMs lately from you guys who are about to start your maths degrees and I've also been getting some comments on my maths revision tips video that I posted recently about how to prepare for first year of university. So I just thought since I've been getting a lot of questions about that, it would be helpful if I made a little video um, about what I would do and as usual with this kind of advice video um, I'm not telling you what to do I'm just letting you know what I would do in case that's helpful feel free to cherry pick bits of this that you think would work for you so the first thing I would do is go through the syllabus of the modules that you're taking in the first term of university and just see if there's anything in there that overlaps with what you did at A level and go back through that stuff so for example, for me, that would have included things like differentiation and integration, because there's a lot of calculus in first year at my university, which is the University of Exeter. Um, proof by induction, I studied at A-level and completely forgot how to do it over the summer, so that would have been useful to look at. The Maclaurin series, formulae for arithmetic and geometric sequences, trig identities, um, just re-familiarizing yourself with the things that you did at A-level that you might have forgotten over the summer, because at least in my experience, maths, I just forget it very quickly if I'm not constantly doing it. Let me check my list for thing number two because I actually planned for this video and wrote down a list. We're so organised today. The next thing I would do is to read around a little bit and also to have a look at final year modules just to kind of see where your degree can take you, what kind of things you can cover because maths as a degree subject is so broad. You can go down so many different avenues with it. There's financial maths, programming and AI, that kind of thing, mathematical biology, there's an overlap with medicine, astrophysics, like I'm probably forgetting loads of them. Basically, there's so much you can do with a maths degree and there's so much you can study at university when you're studying maths. By looking at your final year modules and reading around, you'll just get a more broad idea of what it is you're gonna be studying. And I found that very helpful for me personally. So yep, I would do that. Um, start figuring out what interests you. If there's a particular module in your final year that you think looks really exciting, you already can trace back the prerequisites and see which classes that you're studying, that you're going to study in first year are important for that. Next, I'd set up an organisational system. So whether that's a paper planner like you might have had in school or if you're going to track your deadlines on an app or set reminders on your phone, like however you want to do that, I'd figure that out now and start setting that up, like buy a planner if you need to. Um, or download apps and start using them and see what works for you so that you're not figuring that out when you're already drowning in deadlines. After that, I would figure out a note-taking system. So for me personally, my favourite way to take notes, and I've talked about this in my study tips video, is that if my lecturers provided an online set of notes, I'd print those up, print the blur, I'd print those off, show up to lectures with my booklet of printed notes, ready to annotate, ready to go. If you want to try that as a note taking method, I'd recommend printing off like the first 10 pages of each of your modules and show up with those online lecture notes printed out and try annotating them, see if it works for you and then print off the rest of them if it did work for you, um, just so that you know we're saving paper. Or you might prefer to, if you have an iPad or something, you might prefer to do the annotations just on the iPad. I didn't have an iPad when I was at university but looking back on it, I think I'd have preferred to do that if I had. Um, or you might just prefer to take your own uh, notes on pen and paper, but if you are gonna want to do that, figure out a system for how you're gonna do that. Make sure you have your pad of paper, your folders, however you wanna organize it. And the very last thing I have to say is a response to a comment that I had on my revision tips video, I think it was, which was asking about tips for getting used to university maths to kind of bridge the jump between A-level and university, because I said a lot in that video that university maths is quite different to what you did at A-level, and mostly what I meant by that is that you have to write proofs, which you don't do a lot of at A-level. And I've been really thinking about how to answer that, like what help I can give for that. So I kind of don't want to tell you to go away and learn how to write a proof now, because I feel like that would just stress people out and you shouldn't feel like you need to know how to do that already because the whole point of you going to university is to learn how to do that but I was thinking that something that is very helpful for that that you can actually already do now is to go over logic truth tables if you've already come across these that's great because 
Um, that's basically like the foundation of how you write proofs and how you think about it. If you haven't come across that, I would recommend just having a look. It's gonna be really helpful for when you start to learn how to do proofs. And it's also something that's, like I don't wanna say it's easy because nothing's easy when you see it for the first time, especially something like logic, which it has symbols in it. Um, but it's one of those things that once you've had it explained to you, it becomes quite easy. Yeah, I would highly recommend that you have a look at some logic truth tables and see if you can get your head around those because that's gonna be a massive help when you start university and when you start writing proofs. And that's everything I would do to prepare for university. So if you're about to start a maths degree, good luck, hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.